is going to be a review and setup video of the easy car mount system let's go ahead and set it up all right so one of the things that makes this system really good is that you can decide where you want to mount. So some people, they like to mount things on their dashboard. So you can set it up right over here. And that way, when you're using it, it's on your dash. And that could be part of a good system that you use. There is also a way to set it up on the glass. This is how I normally set it up because I usually can't set them up very easily on this irregular surface. So it's gonna depend on your vehicle and how your vehicle is set up. There's kind of a lot of factors involved. But the nice thing about this specific one that we're re reviewing today is that we do have an air vent mount system that comes along with it. So if you want to mount it into the air vent, it will work. And if you want to mount it to the glass or the dashboard, it will work. So in a sense, you're really getting kind of like an all-in-one system here that can just about do anything. So I'm going to show you how it works and we're going to quickly review it. Let's take a look. If you decide to mount it on the dash, it does come with an included disc. Now this disc is designed to reduce variability. So you see how there's all these curves? Well, if I apply the disc, it can reduce the amount of curves that are present while being connected to this car mount system. And so you definitely don't want to set it up on a like an extreme curve like this, but you can find some areas like maybe over here or maybe even over here, and you can experiment with it to figure out where is a good placement for this specific car mount system, because there will be areas that are more flat than others. It really it just depends on your specific vehicle. I'll walk you through it. So there's a few things to note when you first get it. the sticky suction cup does have a thing that needs to be removed. We'll remove that in a little bit. You're going to want to connect the holder to the actual main base, which is what this is. To do that, all we're doing is we're just unscrewing this, unscrewing the ring, taking the ring, putting it directly onto this and just pushing this in. There you go. Once that's done, you just take the ring and you tighten it. And so the ring is really there to allow you to loosen it in case you want to vector the direction that your holder is aiming. But you also get the ability to loosen this part right here, which is really nice. So if you loosen this, then you can move it upward. See, it goes upward. So that's pretty awesome, I think. So what we're going to do is I'm going to aim it just a little bit higher, Let's tighten it. And there is also a way to, I'll loosen this a little bit later because it's not very useful when it's loose before the, or during the installation. This is the adjustment that I'll be working with after I'm done. Okay, you can also extend it forward too, which is pretty awesome, I think. Take a look. So in most cases, you're going to want this extended all the way. And that's because the phone is going to be pretty far away from you regardless. So the closer it is, the easier it is to use, the easier it is to see things on there. There's also a little latch right here as well. If you push this down, it activates the suction cup more. See? Now, there may be a chance that this suction cup might be sticky enough to attach to the dashboard just fine. There may be a chance that once we attach it, it's just gonna stay and we may not need this additional pad here. But the thing is, this pad is a one-time use pad and um, yeah, definitely only use it if you absolutely need it. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to attach this to the dashboard without this first. So I peeled off the sticky adhesive and I'm gonna go ahead and attach it. I've already decided on a place it looks like right over here I think would be perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and just try it out. Once you find a place, then you're gonna wanna push the clamp system down right here. Just kinda push that down. Oh, what do you know? It doesn't even stick at all. Wow, that is hilarious. That is absolutely, okay, maybe just a little. Yeah, that is absolutely hilarious. It, do, it like doesn't stick at all. <laughs> and this is actually a very, very sticky surface. Like, yeah, definitely don't do that when you have it because that'll probably ruin the stickiness. But this is a very sticky surface. And on some surfaces, it honestly just does not work. Um, I have used these uh, little pads before, but I think on certain types of leather, it's really honestly just not gonna work. Think of this little disc as the last resort. If you can't get it on any particular way, definitely use the disc. 
I'm gonna try to use the disc. I don't think it's gonna work, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Most likely what'll happen is it's better to just put it on the glass. It sticks very easy on the glass. And um, I've just found that the operation when it's on the glass is easier for me. You may discover that it's actually very different for you. So I've peeled the red tape off and now I'm gonna apply the disc and see how far we get. So last time I did try to apply it right here and the surface is clean. You are supposed to keep it clean. I clean the car about every week. I might try it on this. This seems like it's a different type of surface and I think maybe I'll have more success on this. Nah, it does not even, it does not even do anything. Yeah, it's just, I think the surface is just a really, really bad surface. This area right here is almost perfect, but it, it wouldn't work for me because I need this area, I need this line of sight to be open. Yeah, it doesn't work here either. So, well, I could try to save this for another time maybe. I'll put the little stick, red sticker thing back on there. All right, let's go ahead and install it. So I have it flipped upside down. We're just gonna attach it to the glass. Alrighty. And I think right around here would be perfect. So I really love the glass because it sticks really well. Really, really well. Like it's really honestly not going anywhere. And then doing this actually helps. All right, it's on there. The thing that I really like about this specific car mount is that it has this, uh, locking mechanism so as soon as you put your phone in here you can clasp this together and it actually stays closed let me show you what i'm talking about so over here i have my phone i'm gonna go ahead and push this little button it opens up place the phone right in there and then you can just close it with your hands and perfect and there it is works like a charm and it's also not going anywhere it's really secure, I love that. Now, in case you're not a big fan of both of these solutions, there is this vent mounting system, which I've also had pretty good luck with. Keep in mind, it doesn't work with all vents, but you can usually find at least one car vent that'll work pretty good. Let me show you how this works. Essentially, you pick a vent, you screw this open, You attach it and you detach it from this base over here and it just goes directly right on there. Let me show you what I mean. And then you just pull this right off, just like that. And then when you're ready, you can push this in. However, I recommend pushing these two pieces together while it's not connected to the vents because vents are pretty fragile. All right, so I have my two pieces here. Let's go ahead and connect them. Nice, sounded really good. That's the kind of sound you wanna hear. Although I forgot my little ring. Don't forget about these rings. Cause you're gonna need this ring to tighten this. Put that ring on there. And push it in. There it goes. All right, let's insert it. Awesome, got it right there. Now we're just gonna tighten it with this knob. You may need to tighten it pretty good, but again, keep in mind, that's our fragile. All right, it's in there, it is in there. Sweet. Okay, let's test it out. Got our phone. I'm gonna push this little button to open these up. Slide the phone right in. Look at that. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. And there you have it. And that's how you install this car mount. Now what you wanna do with this is you wanna experiment. You definitely want to experiment because how are you gonna know if it's gonna work properly. You may find the results may surprise you. So play around with it. All right guys, that is it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, definitely leave a comment down below. 
because I will be replying to all comments. And I wanted to ask you guys, what has your experience like been with these phone holders? Have you had good experiences? Have you had bad experiences? In my particular case, depending on the vehicle I use, sometimes it varies. And other times I have found that the magnets can sometimes be a little strong. But either way, I still, most of the time, don't really have too many issues. And I definitely think if you have a phone and you have a vehicle, you need a car mount. And you need a very good one. And then Double makes actually pretty good products. So definitely check them out, guys. They're totally worth it. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Cheers.